in the top right on Expedition Lost, the blue Terran playing for my insanity. It is Narcotic. And his opponent playing for Nuit Blanche as the red Terran, Basier. Polish player. Let's check out that logo. Nuit Blanche, World of CD Keys. Okay, so they have a sponsor. No, sweet. Pretty sweet. I think we saw a lot of TVTs uh, last Thursday. But, uh, as I said, haven't seen um, Narcotic play and I've ne uh, well, apart from this first map, but uh, never seen Baser play either, so that's that's a new one for all of us. And also, I'm, I'm thinking maybe I haven't seen that many matches on Expedition Lost yet. Both of them are going for the barracks almost at the well, pretty much the same exact timing. And it's Basier who's going for the refinery a little bit sooner than his opponent. Let's see if he's gonna open up uh, Reapers here, or possibly go just go for a little bit of a faster mech route. Now there's the gas from Narcotic. And Barracks is almost finishing up. So let's see what base here puts out here. Hmm, nothing for do. Oh, there we go. Reaper is coming out. And uh, Narcotic, on the other hand, is going for Marine. So, Marine opening out of Narcotic. Maybe for a little bit faster expand than his opponent. We'll have to see. Going to need one more, more than one marine to reap uh, to get rid of the reaper though, so he'll have to keep that in mind. And uh, base here, let's see if he's gonna go for another reaper behind this. Wouldn't be too surprised, but then again, it's TVT can change quite a bit. So there we go. That's the second reaper in production. First one, it's making its way over across the map, and narcotic is gonna throw down the CC. So, as expected, is going for a little bit of a faster expand. And problem right now is that he's only on two marines. That reactor is uh, three quarters of the way done. So, he will need to buy some time to get the marine count up and actually be able to fend off this reaper. But, ooh, base here. Not, not quite getting in there at the right spot. But then again, it's kind of hard to get in here on Expedition Lost. If you check out this ramp, it's actually a little bit narrow. So, um, Narcotic picked the perfect spot to defend with these marines. And actually spread them apart a little bit so that the Reaper wouldn't be able to uh, take them both out at, at the same time. And now with four marines, he's in a pretty decent spot if he actually rallies them correctly. Not if this first marine gets taken out with no issues whatsoever. But Narcotic, microing back. And the next two marines are coming out here pretty soon. But this is only a little bit of pressure coming out of base here. He's also going for command center behind this. And it's not that um, that much later than Narcotics. So he's he's quite alright. And we'll have to see what he does with his tech. There's the switch, going for Hellion production straight away. Double Hellion production of course. And a tech lab on the barracks. I wouldn't be surprised to see a swap right there. And then maybe some Banshee aggression coming out of base here. Definitely, definitely a possibility. Let's check out what Narcotic is planning here. He's also going for Hellion production, but um, doesn't uh, didn't start his tech lab yet on the barracks. But instead, goes straight for the medevac. So maybe just a Hellion drop into the main. Base here is going to try to put on some pressure, but lots and lots of marines here for Narcotic. They're not really spread out, but they have the high ground advantage and will kill one of these Hellions at least. And there's the remainder of the Hellions coming in. Uh, can they clear up the Reapers? They might get another shot, but they will need at least one more. Oh, Reapers. Sneaky, sneaky guys. Of course, jumping off, and I don't think Narcotic is going to chase them off all too soon. But oh, they're waiting at the watchtower. Bad mistake, our uh, base here. And that's both Reapers going down. Nice little early trades coming in here, but resources lost. 
even on both sides. So I guess it all comes down to uh, this drop. Will do enough damage or will the Banshee spell doom for Narcotic? Right now he doesn't have any really good Banshee defense at home. Doesn't have an eBay to put up towers, he doesn't have a massive amounts of marines. Uh, so he's gonna run into issues, but maybe if he spots this, and he should have seen it right now, he can react to it or just kill base here before uh, the Banshees ever get there. And that's already a lot of damage done here. Six workers killed, and the medevac will get out without any issues whatsoever. Also, a Banshee coming out of Narcotic. And he is not going for the... A cloak upgrade, but instead just continually producing more and more hellions and producing an eBay behind this just so he can get the missile turrets up and have some static defense for the Banshee. It has started to make its way across the map and I think Narcotic is gonna scout this out um, pretty much um, yeah, so early that he will be able to put up these missile turrets uh, in time for the defense. And he's also getting a Viking, just to be a little bit more mobile. And we'll have to check if he's actually saving up a little bit of energy. Yes, he is. He's saving up energy uh, on both of these command centers, to be honest. So, just going to try to lure the Spanshee in. And then, once he has a couple of Marines out for that Viking in position, he's going to be able to react and get rid of the Banshee. Two Banshees, they're doing a little bit of damage. One kill and seven kills. Corporal Banshee for you. Not too bad. There comes a scan, and he's he might get a kill if he would have stutter stepped this. But now they're out of range, and that's a lot of hellions. And Narcotic, he doesn't have any defense up on the ramp, so he'll have to block this with just hellions of his own. But that's that's a massive hellion army here for base here, and they're gonna run through this mineral line and just clear it off. Wow, base here doing massive amounts of damage. That's 12, 15 workers killed. He's evening things out. Oh, luckily for him, supply depot. Nope. Uh, it was it was not finished soon enough. And now, ooh, narcotic. He doesn't have any defense at home. These Hellions are just gonna run rampant. The single Viking is trying to stop this onslaught, but only 12 workers remain, and that's the win for base here. Okay.